much does it cost to adopt a baby in the United States? The cost can be a little overwhelming when you first see it. It's definitely an investment. So it's good to know that with us, we like to go through everything that'll touch your adoption process. So it is gonna be the cost for our services where we're guiding you step by step. It's taking care of all the services a birth mom's gonna need as well. Um, it's also considering things that go outside of cost to us, like your home study provider, um, as well as final legal costs, because we want to make sure that your adoption is going to be legally sound at the end of the day. How much does it cost to adopt a baby in the United States? Well, uh, it's not inexpensive, but there. But let me say this: you do. You do have a lot of options. There's always the foster system, which is essentially free, very minimal amount. You have small local entities that are gonna be in the more low 20,000 to low 30,000 ranges. And then you have your nationwide newborn adoption, and that's gonna cost you around, that's gonna run around 38 to about 48,000. Now, Cost is obviously important, and this has to work for your budget and what you're able to do. But one part of this that you have to consider is what protections do the places have? Because you might end up going with a place that is less, but they don't have protections for you, and in the long run, you're gonna end up paying much more. Adoption is a volatile world. Uh, the reality is that, that a match can come apart for many reasons. Sometimes you want to pull out yourself because of new information. So you want to make sure you can do that and what you've already invested is protected. So equally as important as the cost is how are you protected. How can adoptive parent finance their adoption? So once you learn the cost, part of the planning process will be figuring out how you're going to afford your adoption. Um, there are a lot of options out there. Uh, there are adoption loans. There are secured and unsecured lines of credit. You, It's a good idea to get your tax professional involved because there's also the federal tax credit that will be available to you, as well as a number of adoption grants out there by various organizations. Fundraising is a very cool creative idea, especially for if you have a larger family or a community that's supporting you in your adoption journey. Places like GoFundMe, there's a number out there, a number of them out there, and it's all about researching it and putting your plan together and getting the word out.